shots at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock, electronic, blow the sonic roof up. I'm too honest when I take a few shots. They're too toxic, need to take a new song. You cannot save me, cause I don't need saving. It's everything I've been chasing. All here for the taking. Don't wanna test your luck with me. I think I've had enough disease. I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half nuts. With all this talk, You guys are always asking me what this little gold symbol is near my blue essence. For those of you who are not aware, this is the Riot LPP badge. It's a perk given by Riot to content creators to allow us to access all champions and their skins completely for free. Thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Buff, no longer shall you spend your hard earned money on skins, as you'll now have the ability to earn them completely for free via the Overwolf approved app Buff. Buff's a very simple solution to getting you free skins on all your favorite games. All you need to do is install the app, run it in the background while you play your favorite games including League of Legends, Valorant, TFT, Dota, plus many more, and voila, you'll earn magical buff points. Once you've collected enough points, head into the marketplace and use those hard-earned buff points to redeem awesome prizes, including game titles, gift cards, keys, and even Razer gaming hardware. I know it sounds too good to be true, but buff is integrated into Overwolf, which is a very trusted app, and it's been around for ages. With over 100,000 games played and thousands of buff points earned every week, you too can now play for fun and earn for real. So remember to check out and download buff via the link in my description, and let's get back onto the video. What's up, guys? Guys, welcome back. Today we're playing Renata and we're playing her in the top lane. I'm sure you're aware, Riot always create these brand new champions. They say this is the lane it's meant to go to and then that is the lane we take it to. <laughs> Very common and I think this is another case where Renata can definitely be played in other lanes. Although everyone seems to think that it's not the case. Today we're going to prove them wrong. First of all, let's start off by explaining our goal this game. Realistically speaking, we're not trying to beat Teemo. There are some matchups you can beat, melee range matchups and a few others. So our goal is to sustain and to become a, a powerful threat in the team fight, utilizing our own enemies to defeat themselves with her ultimate. There are also a bunch of different builds that you can do. There's PTA you can run, you can run Grasp, or you can run Glacial. I'm going to put up the stats of each one with my trials and you can decide which you prefer. It really comes down to who you're matching up against. My goal here is to utilize my E, which is our poke. It also gives us a shield. So once our opponent attacks back, we can deny that damage or we can poke them, take minion damage and then run away. Our goal is going to be to keep poking her down in these early levels and try and get her in a position where the jungler might want to come and pick her off. Pull it into the minions. It would have been nice if I pulled it towards the cannon, but we're going to be happy with that trade. That's one of her best parts of the kit, I think, is her fuck off Q. You pretty much just pull them wherever you want or push them away. You can deny so many engages. It's oh my god, he could have he could have survived there if he started fighting a little bit sooner. Another important thing to note about the Renata top: our goal is to be a diversion. The goal is to keep the enemy's jungler's attention on you while your bot lane and your mid lane power farm away. Okay, that's a decent start. We're gonna pick up boots, 
some health, and then a potion. We're looking to build cooldown reduction and into a locket. Also, there are other ways you can do it depending on the team comp. Like this team comp wouldn't be the worst idea to get some movement speed as well, which honestly, maybe I should do that. Is it too late for me to get the movement speed one instead? It is not. So we might actually go for Shirelia's, although normally I would go for the locket. That's a shame. So far, so good. Shaco has visited top twice. I have no clue what's going on, but I'm glad we got a kill. <laughs> I was kind of just pressing all the buttons. Shaco's gonna try to come back in. Oh god, I'm a fucking idiot. So obvious. I should have been hugging the wall waiting for my Q. Q him in, then press the Zonyas. Probably would have got him too, he wouldn't have an escape. Either way, three people top for about a minute. Surely we can make profit of that with the bot lane, which they are. Even though Jinx has been a baby. But ultimately, it's going exactly as we planned, other than the weak mental from the Jinx, but hopefully he figures his shit out. Oh, would have been such an easy game, right guys? <laughs> he just kept his mental together. Okay, we're getting some kills on the second carry. Getting this tower is actually quite big because it's quite difficult for Renata to kill towers in general. So taking it now is going to help out a lot in the long run. It means I can start grouping ASAP, which is my ultimate goal. I'm going to just sit on the skull for the time being. I need to figure out who is going to carry this game. Is it going to be Yasuo or is it going to be Viego? I'm going to lean towards Viego, so I might start building to help him. Although as a rule of thumb, I like going the I like going for the redemption second, just because you can utilize it to like path your enemy where you want them. If you place place the redemption on the field, they've got to run away from it, right? Which means that's where you can aim your ult. And I don't know, it's a great combo. And also it's just useful in general. Okay, we got Shaker behind us as well. Wow, we completely profited from that one. If we get the rift as well, I mean, that was just perfect for our team, right? Yasuo is free farming against the tower gold. Everyone picked up some kills. Let's head back. 2.7 thousand gold out of nowhere. Redemption. Clearly Shaco's close. You wouldn't be playing this aggressive without it. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? There you are. He dead. <laughs> oh, Renata's just such a juicy, juicy bait. At the rate we're going, we could have built AP this game. We just have so much. We're stealing so many kills unintentionally. You know, we could drop this in Baron if we really wanted to. Yeah, we can Baron right now. No need to extend this game out. My ult's coming out. This will be a good fight if they end up coming in here. He's coming. I hit him. Use my W for the attack speed and movement speed. Okay, I might actually go for a Sheen. I generally wouldn't do it, but we're very far ahead at this point, and I think it combos well with Renata's passive. For the time being, I will connect with the Yasuo, but I'm going to end up swapping that to Viego. And I think at this point, the Shaco is giving up on focusing me. Or not, he's right here. 
with the other one. Go, 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 go! He's alive! He's doing it! Go, go, go! Head to kill! Hey! We fucking did it! 2v fucking 5! As if they don't surrender! What I do, baby. Guess you don't run at the Renata ever. That's what I'm saying, we're the biggest bait. That is fucking crazy! Oh my god. I think we should back, we shouldn't actually go for this. We need a reset, reset, reset. I'm just aborting. If I stay and help, it encourages them. If I walk away, maybe they'll get the hand. That was fucking insane! Oh my goodness. Just perfect timing on that combo. Uh, no, come here. Come to me. Renata is also like an exceptional seizure. If they're ever stacked at a tower, you can literally just ult them and at least half the time you'll you'll get a kill. They'll accidentally kill somebody. Run, dude. Man, I saved this guy so hard. So many times. And we just wiped him for free. Go, 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 go! Saved him again. Good game. And just like that, I am one S tier away from being Mastery 7. I think I'm going to do one more game and quickly get that Mastery 7 just to say that I did it. Mastery 7, Renata top. Renatito, Renatito, Renatito. Okay, so I know this is going to be a little bit of a long video, but I wanted to demonstrate to you the other playstyle of Renata top. You just saw me play the passive survival mode with Glacial and building full support. Now I want to demonstrate what happens when you're versing a melee champion and you have the ability to bully them out. So we're going to be starting with a Doran Blade this time actually, and a potion. The goal is still the same. We're still trying to drag the enemy opponent to the top lane. This time I might let my jungler know that I want him to fight 2v2 top. It's going to be very important that we utilize our shield to the best of our ability in order to maximize the amount of damage we can put onto Shen. He's got shield as well, but ours allows us to consistently poke him down while dealing a damage with our auto attack passive, which is bonus by the way on the first hit, and then peel backwards. So we're going to either through the wave, hit our opponent, auto him once and then leg it and we'll take no damage at all and we're going to rinse repeat till he's too low and hopefully that'll bait Xin Zhao to the top lane which is what usually happens and then we're going to look to 2v2 with Graves because our W makes our 2v2 against anyone pretty much the strongest in the game I reckon obviously that's probably not true but pretty much in most situations you're going to be able to easily 2v2 anyone um, and get away with it that's why I'm trying to tell Graves to come top if you don't tell them it's so likely they won't, and then you're just stuck trying to deal with a 2v1, which is still doable, but it's a lot easier if you get help. Notice how I'm poking and then jumping straight into a bush to drop the aggro of the minions. Just one auto attack's enough for now. I don't want the way pushing too far. I want it to be a very slow push. I would love to stack these minions up and then have the enemy jungler gank me. Wave is slowly stacking, this is what I want. I would love to get a ward down now to let Graves know when the Xin Zhao is ganking. So he can start preemptively moving. Yeah. 
That guy's just taunt. Very unlucky. If that hit, we could deal a lot of damage. You can also deny your opponent cannons by just pushing them away. He's out of pots now, so whatever happens, he is not healing back up. Okay, I'm alive. Potions! Hey, just like we said, as long as you let him know, win any 2v2 for free. I played that pretty poorly as well, but it still worked! And now he can pretty much do whatever. Like I said, both playstyles, the goal is the same. The goal is to get your opponent to camp your lane, and then your bot lane and mid lane can easily do whatever they want. Even though I did decide to go for a Doran Blade with Ignite, I'm still going to build support this game. I could go for more damage, but I don't think it's necessary to win this game. We're going to have enough damage. I think if we just get on this Graves train, he's got both of those kills. He should be more than strong enough to handle anyone that comes at him. I'm going to now freeze this wave right in front of my tower and try and keep it there permanently for when Graves comes around. Plus, it's good to have him within range of the pool under the tower. Okay, Shen has rotated. Let's start pushing. I probably can beat this guy. I don't mind baiting him onto me here. If he chases me all the way to the tower, he's going to die, I think. Or at least have to run. <laughs> oh my god. We really should be taking dragons while he's wasting his time up top lane. This time, instead of going for the movement speed, I think it'll be more beneficial for shields. We're not necessarily going to be able to deal with, like, the movement speed isn't going to help us against their team comp, I don't think. They have a lot of peel and a lot of stuns. I think it's just best that we become tankier as a team. So I think Xin Zhao may actually be mad at what happened. So he might actually be trying to come top again. Okay. We took a terrible trade, but it might bait them to the top lane, which is kind of what we want. It does look like he's coming. Oh no, he should have just listened to where I ping. Oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh no, I'm gonna die here. I got the mana for it. Fuck. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, that's my bad. But also, like, that was gonna be perfect. All I wanted Graves to do was listen to my pings, come sit in this bush. Xin Zhao was gonna pass through here, and they were gonna go for the full on tower dive. It would have been terrible for them. And yeah, that's what would have happened. But instead, he walked onto a ward and pretty much forced us in a shit spot. It's still fine though. Like, you have to keep in mind, like, all this is happening up here. Our bot lane is just taking advantage. Like, there's no threat in the bot lane. Winning all over the map at this point. I'm gonna check on the Rift Herald. He's definitely playing top side, and I don't want him taking it. Okay, he's thinking about it. An enemy has been slain. Killing spree. Killing spree. Just trying to waste as much time of his as possible. So 
what we like to see. Bot lane getting completely fed. There's that Shen we were talking about. Let's shove this in. All you can do is warn them. Dragon coming up in 30 seconds. We should still be able to fight for it. And also he's teleporting away. I think speaking gener generically, it's best to... The mid tower is worth... Okay, she got it. Oh, that was so beautiful. Gonna give him movement speed boost. Oh, just great. Just great, mate. Just great. So, she has the rip power. Oh, I got it. Getting the inhibitor doesn't really help us out. Realistically speaking, we don't want to get it because it's going to allow them to free farm and then it's going to deny us gold from the mid wave. So leaving it's the better option here just because of how fast paced this game is going. If it was later in the game, then taking it's definitely beneficial. But at this point, we still have so much on the map that we need to do and we just can't force it at, with our level in gold. Selling this. Once again, I'm going for the Redemption second. I just prefer it. It works really well with your Renatus R. Just using it as a... Basically a sheepdog. We're trying. We're trying. I can help you. Whoops. You can go, you're invincible now. Whew. Ace again. That wasn't the prettiest this time, but you can still see the power we have. I'm actually gonna recall and then get this redemption before I go to the dragon. Because I would much rather my ultimate be up before we start that fight. I think one of the hidden OP talents of playing Renata is the fact that it gives you such a mental boost. Basically, if you're losing playing anyone else, you kind of feel disheartened. But Renata, it's kind of like, yeah, the stronger they get, the stronger I get. If they get an Elder, I get an Elder. You know what I mean? That's, and I think that's what I like so much about it. I'm just going to use my ult. Oh, I think I wasted my ult. Run! They're going for me! They're going for me! Oh, they got me. I think I didn't W Graves there, accidentally. My bad. If we had landed that W on Graves, it probably would have been a different outcome altogether, I reckon. Because I had everything I needed to shield him after he spawned. Oh, they are going in. No we get a kill! That actually looks so good though. That could work. And if I have a Zonyas, which I'm gonna get next. Whew, you can Zonyas during your Grey Health to stall. So what you do is you just suicide in the team fight, die, use the Zonyas to try to stay alive, and pray someone kills anyone, because you'll get the assist and get revived. Baron, 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 please, let's Baron! Looking to get one more juicy wombo combo. Whoop, or not. We could end it quite easily now. With the Baron at my ultimate. I love just encouraging them where I want them to go. <laughs> I 
Get surrounded! Yoink. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the S plus right there. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Not only is it a lot of fun, it just creates so many different scenarios. Just knowing that you can try and bait them into a 2v1. A lot of the time they're going to tower dive you, a lot of the time they're going to die. You're not going to die, they're going to get tilted, and you know how it goes. You've seen what happened to this Jinx, it happens to everyone. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave information about the build and stuff in the description. Feel free to check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all ain't on this level, bitches, tell Torella.